How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode on Little Lagoon Reef. Um, today I just wanted to do a, a little update on the lagoon. The tank is hitting six months old right now, so it's a good time to update you all on what's going on. Uh, before I get into the update, um, sit next to the tank, I know it's dark in here. Um, for the people here who are new, my name is Ryan. Uh, the channel is Little Lagoon Reef, obviously. This started because of Instagram. My Instagram is Little Lagoon underscore Reef. Um, I really like to share my experiences, so welcome to the channel. Um, nothing really special about me. I mean, I don't have a lot of money. I just enjoy the hobby. Um, so I figured why not share my experiences So because I know there's a lot of you out there like me who don't really have a ton of time and money to be sinking into it, but you enjoy it. So I try to keep it pretty simple and basic. Um, this is my dog, Oakley. And yeah. The tank is a lot going on right now. Uh, mostly good, some bad things, but I think right now is a good time to talk about what's happening. Um, we could start with um, the sand bed has been a little bit dirty recently, or at least I think it's dirty. You can see some like orange buildup um, on the white sand and a, a few places. I'm not sure if this is just excess detritus and nutrients. Um, recently I've been vacuuming the sand bed a little bit, so I guess it's possible um, that we could see some diatoms in there. Let me know what you guys think. For the most part, everything's been growing well. I rearranged some corals um, from the last video. I would go and check that out if you guys aren't sure or remember what that looks like. This toadstool right in the front, I moved up a little bit. Um, I've got another piece of GSP on the rocks right up in the front and on the glass, hoping those will grow in pretty good. That a can you guys can see over here on the left uh, is finally starting to puff up a little bit. It's looking a lot better than it has. I've had it for about a month now. But all the new frags, like the the new hammer and, and frog spawn I got, um, they've all been doing pretty good. I haven't seen a lot of growth yet, which is what I kind of expected. I, I haven't had them for very long, but everything seems pretty well settled in. Except for this um, frog spawn right here, you can see it's closed up a little bit today. I'm not sure what reason, but corals are corals and, you know, they change on a day to day basis. Some days they just aren't going to open up. I don't really think I have a significant problem or anything that's causing it. I'll give you guys a little bit of a close up for a minute. Um, it's hard to see in the video, but the back is starting to get covered in coralline. So that's grown in well. Um, I do have a little bit of hair algae on the rocks that I should probably address. Um, I'll probably just go ahead and scrape that off in the next water change. You can see a little bit right here too. And I actually have a little bit um, on the sand and I'm not really sure why. I haven't really had that problem before. As far as some of the problems I've been having, um, this isn't really a problem, but you can see this uh, Kenya tree right here is shedding right now, which will probably result in some more growth. Um, I'm not sure if I want to keep those around for a long time, so I might get rid of those in the future. And then I got this um, acro frag the last time I went and picked up some frags. I just, the guy, Tony, threw it in for free, so I said, yeah, why not? Um, you can tell the tips of it are bleaching. I'm pretty positive it's because my phosphates are a little high. The last time I tested it, it was at like 0.15, I think. Um, and that's been decreasing a little bit because of the refugium I set up, which I'll talk about in a minute. And then aside from that, uh, today I got back and let my dog out of his crate and he ran over to the tank and picked up a dead six line raft. So we lost the raft, he jumped out, um, entirely my fault. I do have a screen top that I haven't put together yet just because I haven't had a lot of time to do so. But I'll be sure to do that um, before I add anything else, which probably won't be for a while. So I'm gonna give you guys just a little top-down view really quick. I know it's hard to see with the pumps on. Um, I'll turn that off for a second. Hopefully you guys get a better view. You can see some of that brown buildup on the sand I gotta take care of. 
hammers are grown in good. The Zoas are filling in. I got this Monty, this red Monty right here. Hopefully it'll start to encrust pretty soon. Some coralline algae on the rocks, not a ton. Looking pretty good right now. Take you guys around to the side. Um, now this A-can I have, somebody asked what it was. Um, I forget the exact brand. I got it off of Bulk Resupply. It's just a, it's supposed to be a frag rack. It looks like a rock, a live rock. Um, so I just got the A-can on that, magneted to the side. And then the last thing I went and purchased was this anemone. So there it is right there. It's a rainbow uh, bubble tip anemone. You can see the green and red. It's actually lost a bit of the bubbles um, it had when I picked it up. Clowns haven't really <laughs> engaged in trying to host it or anything like that. They kind of just all hang out in the back. You can see a lot of that coralline build up. Not super pretty from the side, but you can see I, I got a little chunk of GSP back here, which hasn't taken over the rock yet. Um, it's growing on it, that's for sure. I don't really want it to take over any of this. I'm gonna have to take this stylo off the frag plug and plant it in there pretty soon. So I recently hit a thousand followers on Instagram. So thank you for that. Um, it's been really fun so far. I love sharing pictures and videos in my tank and some of my experiences. But I figured while I'm on the topic of that, I actually got a comment on one of my posts right here um, asking about kind of the setup of my refugium. So I did have a refugium video, but because I got that comment, I will talk a little bit about it. It's hard to see with that red lighting. Um, there's green Calerpa in there, and you can see some hair algae build up. So the first step was I went ahead and took a knife to this back panel, and I just sliced off some of this plastic. It's pretty easy to take off. Um, it is held together by this sewing canvas material from Amazon. I basically just made a little media basket out of it. I used to have carbon in there. Um, but I decided I'd go ahead and switch over, try out a refugium, and this stuff has been growing like crazy. This light um, I got off of Amazon, it was like 20 bucks. I'll link it in the description uh, so you guys can see it. It is controllable through like Alexa, so you can set up a timer. Um, I haven't gotten to it yet. I tried, it was a little bit difficult. I didn't do it. Um, clip on right here really like easy to mess around with and adjust so that has been one of the main helpers in getting my nitrates and my phosphate down a little bit um to make things a lot easier i do water changes about every two weeks but lowering those nitrates and mostly the phosphate is the issue lowering it down a little bit i've seen some of these corals open up more which is a great sign you can see that acro it's pretty much just bleaching at the tips and since I messed with it, you can see some, some particles floating around. But the, my filter socks will collect those. Um, I change these filter socks every like week or so. I should probably do it more often because they tend to collect a lot of nitrate, phosphate, and detritus become like a little nitrate farm in there. But yeah, everything's super happy and fluffy. You can see how big the polyps on those are. I got this Kamor X1 doser set up, um, dosing all for reef. I dose 0.2 milliliters a day, which is probably a little bit on the low end. I could probably increase that a little bit. I just, I'd rather keep it on the lower end and take care of it more with water changes just to avoid some of those alkalinity swings. Um, so yeah, everything's been going pretty good. This power head, the Innovative Marine uh, Wavelink, needs to be cleaned. Um, as you guys can tell, filming, filming with my iPhone, I don't have a fancy camera or anything. But um, I run this power head at like the third or fourth setting for the most part. Um, just on a little pulsing action. So I get some, 
some little waves in there. I also got these uh, Recordia mushrooms last time I went and picked up some frags. I don't know the name of them. Uh, honestly, this is my first time kind of messing with mushrooms. Um, and from what I can tell so far, they have grown a little bit. I actually really like them. This lepto, I still need to move up onto somewhere on my rocks or maybe my glass, I'm thinking. I'm not really sure yet. And yeah, that's that's pretty much the whole tank, guys. Uh, I don't have anything like super expensive or crazy in there. Clownfish are doing well. They, like I said, they haven't really messed with the anemone at all. Hopefully it happens soon. Um, and aside from all of that, I don't really have much else to share with you guys. So I apologize for not posting a video last weekend. Um, everybody that's been watching the videos, liking and commenting, I really appreciate all of you. Um, again, thank you for all those who have followed me on Instagram. Uh, any questions you have, um, I respond to pretty much every comment on Instagram. I respond to all messages, really. I love talking to you guys, so don't be afraid to reach out about anything. Hope you guys enjoyed the update again. Six months right now. Um, it's going well. I've really enjoyed this tank a lot better than my previous setups. If you guys want to see my previous setups, I can do like a little journey video and show you how terrible they were. Um, Cause I know a lot of YouTubers and people on Instagram will go on here and post all the cool stuff, like awesome stuff they do and pretty much film on the days that their tank looks good, which I'm not gonna lie, I typically do that. So you don't really see a lot of like the failures and stuff that people have gone through. So if you guys would like to see those, I would like to make a video. Hopefully you guys would be interested in that. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, you guys have any questions about the tank, leave them in the comments. Uh, like the video, subscribe, I'd really appreciate that. Turn on the notifications. Be posting videos pretty much every weekend, uh, usually Saturday or Sunday. So yeah guys, hope you enjoyed and happy reefing.